Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's podcast. My name is Laura and I am the founder of Law of Attraction Life Coaching and I specialise in anxiety and self-esteem and what I like to call life overhauls. It's about taking somebody that feels like they're not living their potential and giving them the tools and the strategies to be able to change their lives for the better. So tonight I wanted to start with a bit of a story, I suppose, so I hope that you're sitting comfortably. A gardener cares for her earth. She goes into the garden every winter and it's cold, but she begins to pull the dead weeds from the ground. She clears the dried brambles and she lifts the dirt, aerating it. She knows that she must replenish the dirt so she fertilises it. She works the manure into the earth and she knows from this worst dirt comes the sweetest roses. So what does that mean? Well, this phenomenon of life, I suppose, is often overlooked. When you're going through the worst time in your life, I want you to remember that life is not being done to you. You're not being punished. You are growing. Looking back on my life, I can see so many times that have been filled with sadness, with sorrow, when I've been feeling totally lost, dejected and absent of all hope. I've really suffered in my life, like truly. You know, I felt like I could not go on another day. I've been scapegoated. I've been damaged. I've been punished for other people's problems and pains. I've been stepped on, I've been bullied, I've been hurt, I've been dominated, and I have been used. And you might feel that that's happened to you in your life as well, but I've not been broken. No matter how much I might feel that I was at the time. You know, at those times when I was at my worst, battered by the ones I loved, beaten down by life, I was not a victim. I was becoming the victor. You know, and at the time, it didn't feel like that. I'm not completely delusional, but you've probably felt like that at points in your life as well. When you're suffering, I want you to try to remember that life is not being done to you. It's being done for you. If you can let go of the pain for one second and think about all the previous times that you were hurt and from that hurt you grew, you learned... You didn't just survive, you thrived. When you're having the worst time in your life, it's easy to become a victim. But you're not a victim. The universe is conspiring to ensure your journey is the one that you need. I help people. I am filled with love to give those who need a friend, an ear, some hope, some advice or just a hug. I'm the woman that sees a stranger crying and I hug them in the street. I have actually been the crying stranger as well. I'm the girl who offers a kind ear to anyone that needs it. And why? Because I know what pain feels like. I know what the pits of loneliness feel like. And when you're holding your own hand because that's the only touch that is offered, I know what it's like to cry alone and for no one to come. I felt the total depths of misery. And that was my gift from God. Because I know that I can help. I can sit here and I can write this for you. And I know that you're not going to feel so alone anymore. So you know from my experience that there is good after bad. That there is light at the end of the tunnel. And that these cliches that are ubiquitous. That not through romanticizing sorrow, but because they are true. I'm strong. I am empathic. I'm kind and I am complex, I am understanding, I am loving, and I am filled with love. And this is because of, and not despite of, the torment. So I'd like you to forgive those who have wronged you. I want you to thank them. They have allowed you to be awesome. Their cruelness, their jibes, and although they really had nothing to do with you, it was their projection of their hatred for themselves. They were a precious gift, and with forgiveness you can become a precious gift to the world. A gift of love and of healing. 
a gift where the buck stops, where the cycle ends and where love continues. Think of yourself lucky to be so pure, to be able to construct your sorrow into love, to aim to heal and to end suffering instead of continuing hate and pain. Because only from the worst shit do the beautifulest flowers grow. Once again, thank you for listening to the podcast. It was a short one today, but I just wanted to motivate you guys to be able to look at your pain in a different way. And perception is one of the most important things in life. The way you look at things dictates how you feel and the beliefs and the experience that you have in life. So change your perception and you can truly change your world. If you'd like some one-to-one coaching, feel free to get in touch. I offer online coaching over the phone, on Skype and also face-to-face if you're in Bristol or in Cardiff. And if you'd like to get in touch in any other way, feel free to leave a comment. I've got a free ebook that you can get if you subscribe to my mailing list. There are links below in the about section, but I look forward to talking to you all again soon. And I hope until that time, you look after yourselves and you recognize what a fantastic and precious being that you are. I'm Laura, the founder of Law of Attraction Life Coaching, and I wish you all the best until I speak to you again. Take care. Bye-bye.